Alrighty, this is going to be for Aries. July reading. Summer, Mars, and Venus, Jupiter. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. Make sure you like the button. It only takes two seconds. Um, like the video. <laughs> it only takes like less than two seconds to tap that um, like button. I'm going to be reading from this good tarot deck. I really love these cards. They're beautiful and they're huge. Um, Aries, no time, no time, no talk. I feel like it's been forever since we touched on what you've been going through and what you're going through. Uh, spirits, please reveal the energy that uh, Aries will account, encounter during the month, the remainder of July. Okay, what uh, is the energy that of Aries will uh, come into? What are the energies here? Thank you so much for your guys for coming down. Cali, judgment, okay. Judgment, all right. Okay, so you guys are uh, taking a different course of action, or you could be even be going to court, going to a court hearing, but what I feel like, you guys want people to look at you in a certain way. You guys are trying to do things more gracefully, okay? You guys have... You guys have decided that you guys want to do things more gracefully, okay? And trying to have people look at you as a more graceful person. Maybe you were a little fiery or aggressive. When I said fiery, boom, this card jumps out. Um, definitely, definitely Sagittarius energy and writing off some things. And like you guys could writing off your old fiery self. This is crazy because it's a 10 of fires and she's literally writing off. Like I said, you guys are being more graceful, deciding to be more graceful, writing off your more fiery side, your more aggressive self, things that you feel like, uh, really didn't represent you well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And hoping people see what you're doing, like the change, the format, you know? Like you guys have written things off one by one or you're going to. Mm -hmm. Someone could just be doing, someone could also be doing ritualistic magic, full moon magic or something like that. Psych, the full moon, uh, the moon cycle magic is what I'm trying to say. So, I feel like some people feel like you're faking or you're not really being, you know, who you are. You know what I mean? Like, some people feel like, um, or you just feel like you have to set yourself aside from people, right? And you've been thinking about setting yourself aside from certain people for a while, and now a new energy is calling you in. Now, I do feel like someone got cut off because there's an ending here. You have the King of Swords. We all know he's the king of cutting somebody off. So, you have written someone off. You cut someone off. And decided to embark on something that you feel like you wanted to do for a while. I feel like you had to set yourself aside from the crowd. And is there's particular things. Maybe two stair guys are talking to you or two particular people who are mentoring you, telling you, like, hey, you don't, you don't, you, you're better than that. Move away from that. Um... This is what you represent now. This is your new identity. Who cares what they say? You know what I mean? Like, sometimes people uh, hold you to that belief tell. If you're changing, you're changing. Your journey is for you. It's not for anyone else to understand. That's the energy that I'm getting. We decided, we became curious of the unknown about ourselves. What will happen if I write this off, cut people off, uh, be myself, embark on a journey that I've been waiting for because I already planned to see that just never really acting on it. What will come of this? And I feel like you guys are very serious about finding out what will come of this change. A lot of you have moved into like a sacred energy, more mystic, esoteric. A lot of people are moving into that realm. Um, spirituality came knocking at my door almost four years ago. In 2017, I believe, it was a really, really rough, rough, rough year. And, um, No, it was the end of 2016. And, who, uh, uh, my Saturn return, return, Saturn return, I think it happens between the 27th when you're 27 and 29. And boy, can I tell you, I, the tower card came down. The tower card came down, honey. 
it came down. It was like you harboring all that. You, I, I'm still Persian to this day. You know, I'm still Persian. You know, I'm still Persian. But the stuff that needed to come out right then and there, it had came out. And I feel like someone is moving into a more grace for them. And they're serious about what they want to uncover. I always tell people, I'm going to find out. Um the best version of myself in this lifetime my waiting to come back as nobody rock okay and that's how i feel so you become this is literally in it, like the very direct and clear about the path that you're embarking on you had already planted the seeds and now it's like you have to you're learning as you go i feel like this is such my this, I, i'm so familiar with this energy you have to learn as you go and really sit down there's some people you probably have to sit down and separate yourself from and tell them it's for the betterment of your growth. Um, but I feel like you have to write some people off and cut some people the fuck out. So you could be better. I just I tell people all the time, I'm like, I kept knocking at a certain door and I, I didn't want to let go of particular people, but I knew energetically wise they I just couldn't get ahead right now. Like we need to separate and come back together. And I finally realized that I'm knocking at the door and the gatekeepers are like, mm -mm. you still got the motherfuckers with you. You still got the motherfuckers with you. You can't get in the door with that energy. So if you get in the door, if we let you through this gate, this door to go on what you want to embark on what you want to enjoy, enjoy on. You're not letting us know that you're serious because you're bringing your biggest baggage with you. Like, no, we're not letting you, we're not giving you access. Go back, try again and knock in a year and a half because you still made your mind. It took me three years, four, damn near, to cut off a particular person. A person, because a lot of people got cut off. Uh, but I had felt free and like some weight got lifted off my shoulder. And that's what I feel here. I feel like we sat down with some people, say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Some, some people got cut off clear, front, and direct. Um, as you move towards a more graceful energy. Because I see that you planted seeds. You could have um, wrote in your journal or wrote what change you wanted and what you want to discover and what you want to reveal about your life or unveil. What do you want to see? So it cycles have to end. People have to get cut off. People, you have to set yourself aside from the group and you have to embark on a journey that's already made for you because it is your birthright. And it's time to reap those, that harvest yeah yep attachments yes i totally forgot about that we were attached to something here and that we cut it off we had to make a decision it was a hard decision i don't know if it was about maybe you could have cut off like a mother figure or, or a father figure or someone of that a home life person someone that could have been giving you money um but it was some attachments and it was hard to walk away it was hard to make advancements away it was hard to endure or bring on the change but you had to be confident and you had to find your confidence to cut this motherfucker off somebody getting cut the fuck off period and someone could have been nickel uh shit it, it, i said someone could have been giving you money or lack thereof okay or lack thereof okay or lack thereof okay someone could have been uh bread crumbing you um and, 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 and bread coming you taking what you taking what they want and then going and leaving you decide to leave for good yep like uh um -uh. as you take your shit when you think you're gonna bust a bitch and come back around i'm not gonna be here nope i'm gonna be grounded somewhere else oh y'all might have somebody got a gang of kings in here okay i don't know if y'all in the emperor oh god whoo that emperor is powerful. I feel like right now, a lot of you might have options as well. But there's one particular person that's very fiery. They could be an Aries as well, but I feel like they really, really, there's a connection. I feel like you know it, but there's, there's someone may be overly emotional and somebody might be just a little bit too practical or boring, but then there's someone who just embodies this. And they could also be a fucking Leo. Oof, because he is fine. Mm -hmm. And alluring and very confident. And it's like piercing with their eyes. You probably look at them one time and want to have sex with them. Cause that's how I'm feeling. I'm like, stop looking at me. You know, like, whew. 
Because a fire and fire, this is another fire sign. Because it's a lot of passion coming back. I'm going to have to flip this card over. Okay? So you guys are kind of testing each other out, trying to see what it is. You're testing the waters. You know, juggling, trying to see who's what, what's what, what can I do? Who's what, what's what, who can I double dip with? Who can I double dip with? I, I don't know what the hell double dip is. Don't, don't ask me. Dip, play with dip. Yeah, so, no, I think cutting people off is excellent. When you're going into a new stage of your journey, you have to release um, certain energies. And they're allow you're allowed to come back together in a new season. You can have a care confrontation and say, hey, right now in my journey, it requires my full attention. I'm going to have to kind of release you. Okay, some people... And you get to use that at your own discretion. Everybody doesn't deserve that conversation because some people have a conversation not even hear what you're saying. And some people aren't mature adults about having those conversations. So there's people that had conversations with that it still didn't end up the best way. And there's people who I just didn't have any conversation with because they, they would have made the situation way bigger than what it was. I mean, starting fires all over the place. You're just like, okay, I just want to be able to grow and learn. And people don't understand. They don't understand that. They always think it's about them. It's like, no, it's about my growth. It's not personally about you. But if I need to excel in life, I have to kind of walk away from this um, this connection for now. And um, hopefully, I'm open to it uh, coming back together. If that's what's supposed to happen, this stuff, this is burning. This, this, this right here is burning. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That right there get dry just be burning. But I feel I, I, I respect it because it takes a lot of courage to cut a motherfucker off. And you got the king of swords here, so that's Aquarius energy all day. Cut a motherfucker off. Who's next? Cut a motherfucker off. Who's next? Um and you could also have to cut one of your motherfucking options off too, not just like a family member or person, but I feel like one of your options got cut off. Like, maybe you're too emotional. You have to tell someone, um, you're too fucking practical, traditional. Like, no, you're boring. You're too just boring. You know, some part, but you're like, okay, you're too emotional. Like, I ain't got time for emotional stuff. I'm grown. We ain't in high school. No, uh-uh. Like, <laughs> look, I'm the woman. You're more emotional than me. I'm kind of getting that energy here, too. But I do feel like you want to really find out the hidden treasures about yourself. Like, you're so focused and you're so serious. I see someone doing affirmations like i love you you know i i believe in you you are worth love you're worthy of unconditional love you are this or just i am affirmations and really meaning that shit and being serious and purging out and releasing so they can kind of unlock the key to get to the unknown parts of version parts and versions of themselves that they have not met yet okay this is really beautiful so, Aries, that is your July reading. Tell me how you feel. Please like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. Peace.